I know everybody doesn't have the time or the desire to be their own doctor and to know all these things, but like your body is your, it, you have it your whole life. Mm-hmm. You know? So you really should, people really should um, take the time to learn things for themselves, like to gain knowledge. Like it's the most important thing to be knowledgeable about. Yeah. And invest in, invest in your own body. I mean, even That's, oh, I think people yeah. come, people complain about, um, eating healthier foods and how they're sometimes more expensive, but it's like, okay, well, if it makes you live or feel better over the next couple of years, or maybe next several years, wouldn't you be willing to invest in that right now, rather than, you know, when you get to 50, 60, 70 and be like, man, I should have did that 20 or 30 years ago, you know? And the other thing too, you bring up was, um, the, you talk about pain, right. You know, especially when you're, we're in acute pain. I mean, I've had back, low back pain myself before in the past. And when you have pain, the, the only thing that's going through your mind is like, I want to get rid of this yesterday. Cause ah, uh, this sucks, you know? And, um, one thing I've, I've been trying to educate patients on, or even other people is having experiencing pain is actually a good thing, right? It's almost a blessing that your ability to feel pain and respond is, 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 is good. And it's natural and it's completely okay for your body to feel pain. It's just obviously the amount is something that we need to work on. And, um, but it's an indicator essentially that because you have pain, it means you're having a natural, healthy response uh, to something. And it means you're, you're in tune with your body, essentially. Exactly. When you have pain, not like nobody embraces pain, right? Nobody loves it. Ooh, but (laughs) it speaks to you because that is your body's only one of your body's only ways to tell you Mm -hmm. ease up or assist me. Right. So you have to, you have to listen and back pain, toothaches, like these are, like you said, acute things that speak, like these things, uh, you know. Mm, Chirp, they're yeah, they're yelling. And it takes, it takes care. It takes, you need to address, but you also need to be a part of the long-term solution. Um, I know that the disc herniation is gone because I just happened to have my physical with my doctor. Um, and uh, he said that one of the reasons why the the disc healed so well is because of like I'm not overweight like I'm post menopausal now yay you know since 43 and women out there know it is very difficult for women to keep weight off after mm-hmm. menopause yeah your body is just like mm. and um it is not uh it's not fun for many women to try to stay uh, they, the same size all their life, right? Because your hormones are gone. And now, you know, the weight just comes on. So uh, through diet, um, which is the, you know, the other part of the equation, through diet, I've been able to maintain, you know, my 115 pound normal. And because I did or do, um, I don't have all that weight on those, those vertebrae. So um, that's a good thing. And it takes extra work. You know, my husband's eating his omelet this morning and there's my oatmeal with my blueberries. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's just a conscious choice. Mine just happens to fold in with, you know, I, uh, I try to eat healthy, to stay healthy, to keep the cancer at bay, to, you know, maintain my weight. So it all works together. You know, your level of activity, um, your level of mindfulness and your level of nutrition. And to some people, it's worth it. And to some people, it's not. I can't imagine living any other way now. I mean, I know I'm 51, but I don't feel any older than I felt at 25, to be perfectly honest with you. 